welcome back to our channel my name is teacher smith and today we are going to understand a very interesting question on painted problems so to understand the question better let's take a quick example to understand few things so let's say if i have a cuboid here the cuboid has dimensions of 5 cm 4 cm and height as 3 cm now let's say the first question is how many total number of cubes are present inside this cuboid so if I want to calculate total number of cubes, first I have to understand what should be the size of the cube that is present. So I want to calculate how many cubes are present that has the side length of 1 cm. So on this 5 cm length, how many of 1 cm cubes I can place? Yes, we can place 5 such cubes. So if I divide this length into 5 such parts, I can get this line. Now on this 4 cm width, how many of 1 cm cubes I can place? Yes, I need to divide it into 4 such parts. Then on this height that is 3 cm, how many 1 cm cubes I can place? Just 3. So I can divide the entire thing into 3 parts. So if I want to calculate the total number of cubes that are present here, let's just see how many cubes are present at the base. So on one length, if there are 5 cubes. And on the total base, it's just 5 times 4, which we can easily calculate. So on the base, it's 5 times 4, having one layer. But there are in total of 3 such layers. So 20 is on one layer. So in total, 3 layers will be 60. To calculate it, it's just 5 times 4 times 3, which is 60. So if we want to calculate the total number of cubes, we can just multiply its length, width, and the height. Now understanding this, let's say if I ask you, if this cuboid I paint from all the sides, after painting it, how many of the cubes will have three faces painted, two faces painted, one face is painted and zero faces painted. So let's just, now regarding three faces painted, let's say first question I ask, where are these cubes present where the faces are three? And it's painted. We can check here. Here this cube that is at the corner has this face, this face and this face painted. So the cube that is at here has all the three faces painted. So if I ask you what is the position of this cube? Yes, it's present at the vertices of this cuboid. And in a cuboid there are how many vertices? Yes, just eight. So if I first mark the position of three faces painted, it's present at the vertex of the cube and there are in total of 8 cubes. Now moving on to two faces painted. Now this two faces painted is present where? Let's just observe. On this length of 5 cm, I can see a cube has two faces painted, another cube has two faces painted, another cube with two faces painted. So on one length of 5 cm, there are three cubes. And how many lengths do I have of 5 cm? Yes, it's just 4. 1, 2 and at the back there are 2. So it's just nothing but 3 cubes times 4. So if it's present at the edges, it's 3 times 4. Then moving on to the next part, that is this 4 cm. On this length of 4 cm, I can see this cube has 2 faces painted and this cube has 2 faces painted. Now, this is just one of the lengths where there are two faces painted. And how many of this lens are we have? Yes, we have four such edges. So it's nothing but two times four. Then on the height also of three centimeter, there is this cube that is present that has two faces painted. So one cube there is present. And how many such edges we have? Four. So it's nothing but four times one. That is nothing but four. And if I calculate this, we'll get the answer 24 cubes. So two faces painted, there are 24 cubes that are present. Now moving on to one faces painted. So for one faces painted, let's say if I change my color. Now, again the same question. One face is painted is present where? Yes, it's present at this position where this is one face is painted, one face is painted and one face is painted. What is the position of these cubes? Yes, it's present exactly in the middle of the face. So one face is painted, the position is at the faces of the cube. Now on this face, I can see how many cubes are there. Yes, there are three cubes. 
and this is just the front part. What about the back? Will it be different? Of course not, it's same. So front it's three, back also it's three. So the total number of cubes is just three times two. Then on the other edge, here on this face, I can see this face is one face is painted. And how many cubes there are? Two. So on right, there are two faces painted. On left also, there will be two faces painted. So it's nothing but two times two. Then let's move on to the top. On top, I can see this is one face painted, one face, one face, one face, one face, and one face. So on the top, there are six such cubes. So this is just top. Bottom is also painted. So top is six, bottom is six, that is six times two. If we calculate, we can get the answer as 22 cubes. Now moving on to the next part, that is zero faces painted. So for this, let's say if I erase all the things that is here. Now zero faces painted is present where? Now this cuboid I painted, but I painted just from the outside. Will the paint reach the inside of the cube? Of course not, right? So I have to only calculate those parts that is just inside of this cuboid. So zero faces painted first is present in the inside of the cube. Now, if I want to calculate the faces that has no paints, what I have is, I have the total number of cubes that are present. I have three faces, two faces, and one face is present. I have to calculate those cubes that has no faces painted. Yes, what we can do is, from total number, I can remove three faces, two faces, and one face. So, this is our formula to calculate zero faces painted. So total number is 60, from 60 I just need to remove this 3 parts. And if I calculate it, the answer simply becomes 6 cubes. And the 6 cubes are present inside of this cuboid. Now this is just one way of calculating 0 faces painted. Now let's just observe. Let's say there is a question where it asks us to find out 0 faces painted directly. Now to calculate by using this method, I need to calculate total cubes. I need to calculate three faces, two faces, one faces. So in total, I have to calculate four values just to get zero faces painted. So quite challenging, right? So let's see if there is any other method to calculate zero faces painted directly. So the other method here is we can understand zero faces painted is present inside. So what I have to not consider it, all the cubes that are painted. Now if I don't want to consider the painted cubes, what I will do is, I will try to cut this cuboid. I will try to cut this cuboid in such a way that all the cubes that are painted, I will try to remove them. Now how? If there is a cuboid, I will cut it, the edge that is from the top, from the bottom. I'll also cut from the left and the from right because these two faces are painted. Also, I'll cut one from the front and one from the bottom. And if I achieve this, then I can inside see zero faces painted. Now my next question. If I cut this cuboid that is 5, 4 and 3 from top, bottom, left, right, front and back, which shape I can see inside? Yes, inside I can see another cuboid that is present. And if I want to calculate the total number of cubes in this cuboid, I just have to multiply the dimensions that we just saw from the first example. So let's just see how to calculate zero faces painted. So on this length of 5 cm, I am going to cut those cubes that have faces painted. So on this length, there is a cube that is on the extreme right and extreme left. So these cubes that are present in here have been painted. So what I have to do is, I will cut off this part. So this part, if I cut it off, it will look something like this. So the part that I have to remove is this many cubes because they are painted. So from this five, how many cubes I am removing? Yes, one from the right, one from the left. So my formula becomes five minus two. Now this is just one length of five centimeter. I also have four centimeter. So on this length of four centimeter, what I have to do is I have to remove one from the right so, and one, one from the back and one from the front. So if I cut it in this order, I can see this is the part I have to remove. And if I remove this, how many cubes I am actually removing from 4 centimeter? 
Yes, just two. So it becomes four minus two. Now from the length of three centimeter, that is this one. Which parts are present which have fences cuboid? Yes, the top and the bottom. So the top part I have to cut and the bottom part I have to cut. So this is what it looks like. And this is the area that I have to remove. After removing this, I can see from three, two parts are removed, two cubes are removed. So it's three minus two. And then this is the dimension of the cuboid that is present inside. But to calculate total number of cubes, I just have to multiply this as we just saw in the first example. And if I solve this, I'll get three times two times one, which is the final answer, six cube. So even if you use the first method, that is this one also will get six cube or a second method also will get the second method. Now, which method do you think is quite suitable to calculate zero faces painted? Yes, for me, it's the second one because for the second one, I just have to cut my cuboid front and back, left and right, top and bottom. And I'll get zero faces painted directly. But to use the first method, I have to calculate total three faces, two faces and one faces, which is quite challenging. Now understanding the principle behind the painted problems, let's see our question. Now let's see what the question says. Question says, there is a solid stone of one centimeter cubes. Now Michael places the solid into an open rectangular box. Question is asking, how many cubes touch the inside of the box when it is completely filled? Now what happens? There is a tank. You can regard this as a rectangular box of dimension 10 centimeter, 6 centimeter and 7 centimeter. Now what Michael does is, there is a cube of 1 centimeter and he places this 1 centimeter cubes inside this box. Now the question is asking me, how many of the cubes touch the inside of the box? So let's say if this is a cube and this is the edge of the box. So how many of the cubes touch this box? Now calculating how many cubes touch the box, I can count it directly. I can count how many of the cubes have three faces that touch the box. Then I can calculate how many of the cubes painted has touched. There are two faces that touch the box and how many of the cubes that have one faces touching the box. So it's quite similar to the painted problem that we did just now. The similarity is there we painted and here we have put it inside the box. So instead of this, we will regard this cuboid problem as painted problem. How? This cuboid, I'm going to paint it from the outside. And the paint is going to apply where? Just the outside. So the question says, how many of the cubes touch? Which is nothing but regarded as the painted problem. But the challenging part here in this question is, if I want to calculate how many of the cubes touch the box, there are these three cases. Three faces, two faces and one faces. And in this, there are some cubes that have zero faces also that don't touch the box. So, to calculate, I have to calculate these three things separately, which is quite challenging. So, what's the other method that we can use? Yes, we can think differently. We can think opposite. If instead of calculating three phase, two phase, one phase, what I can calculate is from the total number of cubes, I can remove those cubes that don't touch the box. That is in the inside, that is zero faces painted. So the total touching the box is nothing but I can calculate the total number of cubes and from this I can remove zero faces painted. Now the first part, total faces painted. Total cubes, how to calculate this? Yes, we just saw, if there is the dimension given, we just have to multiply this. So total cubes is nothing but 10 times 6 times 7, which is 420 cubes. So in this box, there are 420 cubes. Now, if I want to calculate zero faces painted, what we can do? Here, we can see on the length of this 10 centimeter, there is some cubes that are touching. So the cubes that are present on this line are touching the cube, so I don't need. Here also on this line, it's touching the cube, so I don't need. So from 10 centimeter, how many cubes I have to remove? Just two. So it's nothing but 10 minus two. Now regarding this six centimeter, how many cubes I have to remove? I need to remove from the front and from the back. That is 
all the cubes that are present in the front i have to remove and all the cubes that are present at the back i have to remove so from the six how many cubes i have to remove yes it's just two so six minus two now regarding the seven centimeter how many cubes do i have to remove we can see the bottom part the bottom cubes touch the inside of the box so this bottom i have to remove so this is removed now regarding the top the top does it touch the inside of the box let's just think the question says it's an open rectangular box open rectangular box oh let me erase this and make it a very straight line so the question says it's an open rectangular box open means the box is actually not touching the cubes that are present on top so from seven do i have to remove two no from seven just remove one which is at the bottom that is seven minus one so this is nothing but the dimensions of the cuboid which is present inside so the formula becomes 10 minus 2 6 minus 2 and 7 minus 1 this minus 1 is because it's an open rectangular box and the top cubes are not touching the box so if i calculate this 10 minus 2 is 8 6 minus 2 is 4 and 7 minus 1 is just 6 and if i calculate it it becomes 192 cube so the total number of cubes is 420 and zero face is painted as 192. So how to calculate the two cubes that are touching the box? It's a subtract. So cubes touching inside of the box is nothing but 420 minus 192, which is the final answer, 228 cubes. So what we can understand from this question? When we read the example, the example had all the faces painted. That's why I removed minus two from all the three dimensions. But here in this question, it was about open rectangular box. And in open rectangular box, we only have to remove those parts that touch both sides. That is minus 2 on length, minus 2 on breadth. But since it's open from the top, from the height, I have removed only one. So this is what we can understand. So let's just summarize this. If we have painted problems, and if you want to calculate the number of zero faces painted, there are two such conditions. First is if it's painted from all the side. If it's painted from all the side, then I have to remove two from all the dimensions, all the two cubes. Then if it's painted on all the side, but not from the top, or else one side is not painted, you can say. Then the formula becomes minus two minus two. And the part that is not touching, we have to just remove minus one. So this is minus one, which is very important. Since in our question, top is not painted. That's why from height, we have removed minus one. But if there is any other dimension, then you have to consider that dimension. So this marks the end for the painted problem. Now, if you have understood everything from this video, there is a practice for you to do. Now, I hope this practice includes my name also. So make sure you practice this question then you can comment down your answer in the chat box. Now, if you are eager to learn more or else if you have any of the doubts, you can scan the QR code that is present here. Here this QR code, you can study group. And in the study group, you can post your doubts or else any questions that you have. And our teachers will help you immediately. So, this is my time. I am Teacher Smith signing off right now. But I'll see you in the next video.